everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi. So, we are putting on our manicures today, and Callie said that I could do hers live. <gasps> Isn't that exciting? She's getting new nails. <gasps> you excited? Yeah. Yeah, what kind of nails are we doing? You want to show everybody? Oh, do you know what those are called? Rainbow nails. Rainbow nails. <laughs> Uh, so this is actually one of our fall sets that is called Paint the Town. Um, and she wants all these pretty rainbow colors uh, on her nails. So we are going to be going ahead and putting those on her. Um, so let's see, Kelly. I'm going to have you sit down right next to me, okay? Okay. I'm going to move my thing down a little bit so you guys get to look at her because she's so cute. Are you cute? Yes. Yeah, she's, I'm cute. She says it all the time. Okay, so Color Street, guys. If you don't know what Color Street is, it is 100% real nail polish. It is 95% dry, okay? So it's gonna go on just like a sticker, and then uh, it's gonna last up to two weeks. In fact, the manicure I just took off of her uh, was on her nails for three and a half weeks, and it was still holding on. Of course, the growth was crazy, and there was hardly any left because of that, but it was holding on. Okay, so now um, we're gonna be doing it a little bit different because, Kelly, do you want purple with it too? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna give her some of my retired set. Um, purple, that's every day I'm sparkling because I think it would be pretty with it. So, let's see, I think you already used the, uh, the little ones from this set at some point in time. But we're going to pull that. Oh, yes, that's super pretty. Doesn't that look good together? You want to show them? Can you hold them up and show them when Mommy puts these back in the bag? Is it pretty? Yeah. So pretty. And the purple with it. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. Okay, so for the kids, let's see. We're going to use this one. I think these might actually be Gigi's leftovers. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is push back their cuticles. Okay, so this is super important, um, but you wanna just go in, make sure all their cuticles are pushed back. I would not cut a child's cuticles. Just push them back out of the way um, because if you lay the strip on top of the cuticle, it's gonna lift when it grows and then they're gonna peel it off because it's gonna be kind of like hanging there. Um, so you wanna always make sure that you don't put your color street strips on top of cuticles. So we push all of our cuticles back, have them wash their hands. Um, but first, before you wash their hands, one of the things that you want to do is, I, I did have her wash her hands earlier and I'm not gonna send her away because she won't come back for 10 minutes. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a buffer pad, okay? With the little kids, this is super important because their nails are so slick and so fine um, that it's kind of like you want the polish to stick so it doesn't come off. So you wanna go ahead and hit, I need this hand too, like that, thank you. She's like leaning on it. Uh, you wanna go ahead and hit all of their nails. I used a glass file just to shape up her fingers, her fingernails before we did this. And then next up, after she would wash her hands normally right now, I'm gonna use a nail prep pad. Um, so this is just a alcohol wipe. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through, we're gonna wipe all of her fingers. Wipe all of your fingers. Can I have your other hand? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna make sure we get all the dirt or oils or anything that's left on our fingernails so it's a nice clean surface. And then I'm gonna make sure that I do my nails as well, okay? Um, okay, so let's see. We probably want some of this on your thumb, right? Yeah, okay. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, okay. So I'm gonna peel off the top layer and then I'm going to peel off uh, the next layer. 
You do have a little tab right here you're gonna to wanna to peel off, so just stick it on your fingers. And if you've used the alcohol prep pad on your nails, you don't need to worry about holding the strip. It's not gonna get all messed up. Okay, mommy's gonna move them to just a little bit more. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna take this and we're gonna go right underneath. Say right, yeah, you like seeing yourself in the thing. She loves mirrors, so. I'm surprised she's not showing you guys how cute she is. And then we're just gonna press it down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a little tug and I'm gonna break it off with my thumbnail. I'm gonna show you guys a couple different ways to do it. She's being very nice today, very gentle. And I'm gonna just break it off with my thumbnail right on underneath by pushing underneath her nail and then pull away any excess. And there you go, we have a perfectly polished nail with a fun little design on it. Okay, and then we're gonna do the other thumb with the other side of the nail. So the cool thing about the Color Street is that there's no dry time. Hold your finger like this, so no, no, down so we can show them like that. There we go. There's no dry time. So you put the nail on and they can literally go and play. Um, so she has been getting her nails done since she was two years old. And could you imagine painting a two-year-old's fingers with regular nail polish? That's ludicrous, right? Say that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Nobody would do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, there are no fumes, um, so I'm not um, subjecting her to fumes and stuff like that. So I have all of this left over. Um, I want to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, and I am going to round off a strip. Round off a strip. Hi. Hi. I'm big girl. You are a big girl. And I know that this is going to be too wide for her, so I'm only going to round off the one edge like that. Okay, let me see your finger. Where do you where do you want this one? This one. We want you want that one, and yeah. then you want to do these two middle ones purple. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put it down, and then I'm Why gonna just press it down. Time. Okay. Can you show everybody how it's on your nail? See how it goes over her nail? What we're gonna do is I'm gonna come in, and I'm gonna break it off with my thumbnail. And then I'm just gonna peel the extra away. I didn't tell you that. Yep, and then I'm gonna finish breaking it off by just barely pushing it in underneath. And then any excess, we just scrape away. There we go. And we're gonna do the same thing with this other side over here because there's still a little bit of color left on this side. So we can use that, right? Yeah. Okay, let me see your other finger. Your other nail, other hand. Mm -hmm. This one right here. That's so teeny tiny. Yeah, you got teeny tiny fingers, which is pretty awesome because I can usually get her nails, if I'm not trying to do a certain design, um, out of just two of my leftover strips. So sometimes when we're doing, like trying to get the designs on her nails and stuff like that, it's a little hard. I have to use three strips just because of where the designs lay on the nails. So like, that's just all white, that's boring. We don't want boring, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's do purple next. Yeah. Okay. On these two fingers. On those two fingers. Okay, so. Look, this one is so teeny. Yeah. Honey. Peeling off the top strip. And then I'm going to oh peel it off the back. <laughs> my toes are Grab it right here. Oh, yeah, we got to do your toes too, don't we? Yeah. yeah mommy didn't prep your toes. Okay, so. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you on... My big toe is so big. Your big toe is pretty big, kiddo. So again, I'm placing it right underneath the cuticle, okay? And then if there's any extra on the yeah. side, I'm just breaking yeah. it off with my thumbnail and moving it away. Another option, okay? Some kids, um, when she was younger, like two, she would squirm if I used my thumbnail. So I used a rubber tip cuticle pusher and that worked as well. Um, something else that you can do is if they won't let you break it off underneath. Yeah. I'll show you on the next nail. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> what, what I would do 
is when she was younger, before she let me do it the fast way, is I would take cuticle clippers, okay? And we just clip it off. So if you just make sure you're up, up underneath the uh, underneath the um, the strip, it's and so sticky. it's so sticky, yeah. And if it if you do wind up clipping, you know the nail, it's not that big of a deal. So I would actually, when she was younger, is I would even leave the nail um, long, so I wouldn't pre clip her nails, or I wouldn't pre um, file them down. And then I would just go ahead and cut them with the cuticle clippers. Huh. Yeah, can I have your other hand now? Yeah. So we'll do these other two nails over here. Yep. So the thing is, is with these, is that there's no dry time. So once she's done, she doesn't have to sit there and not touch anything. The nail polish isn't gonna smudge. It's not gonna get on anything or ruin anything. It's not gonna get messed up. Um, pretty much the only thing you have to do is keep it out of their mouth for an hour. Um, so when she was younger, she was a thumb or a finger sucker. Do you remember which finger she sucked? Yeah. Which ones? This one, Your middle ones? Yeah. Yeah, she used to suck her middle fingers. So I would just sit there and I would do her nails. And then I would hold her hands while we watched TV for an hour. <laughs> so we would watch a movie. Oh, other hand back. Okay, come on over here so we can show everybody so they can see. Um, and I would just hold her hands uh, for an hour until they would cure so she wouldn't eat them. Um, so that being said, um, I do have to let you know, just like all nail polishes, nail polish has never been tested on children. Um, obviously, right, because we don't test things on children but no nail polish has ever been tested on children, so it's not FDA approved for any child, I think under the age of 13. Um, but uh, your discretion, if you paint your child's nails with regular nail polish, uh, Color Street's probably a better alternative, at least in my mind it is. So we've got one more, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's do this one and we'll use the, we'll use the center yeah. um, of this one. So I wanna get the nice center here. So I'm actually gonna peel off the top layer and then mommy's gonna go ahead and cut this. Whoops, you're pulling the, pulling the camera, baby. Don't play with that with your feet. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and cut this in half. Yeah. Yep. And then I'm gonna round it off right over here because I know that's where we're gonna use it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and peel it. So I did actually have enough of that purple left over where I could have um, just done her pinkies in that, but since we're kind of going for a, you know, fun, oops, this one, this one. Yeah, you want this, you want the pretty sparkles? Yeah. Yeah, she's so pretty particular about our sparkles. I'm honestly surprised she chose this set. We have a purple um, and like, pinkish blue ombre one called It Takes Tucson, which is usually her go-to. Um, she usually won't let me put anything else but that on her feet, or on her hands or feet, but I didn't really give her, I gave her, I told her, so we're doing rainbow manis this week for pride, so this is pick a rainbow mani. So she did, she did good. You still have one nail left, where are you going? <laughs> Silly. Oh my God, did it. You're gonna do that one? Yeah. Your which, which finger is that? Do you know what that finger is called? Pinky. That's your pinky. That is your pinky. It's so small. It's so small. Yeah, you have tiny, 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 tiny fingers because you're tiny. So I'm not small. very tiny. Yeah, you're pretty tiny. Yeah, not very tiny. Not very tiny? No. And again, so when it's big like this, you basically just go like this, break it off. And this is the same concept that I do my feet with. So I use my leftover strips um, on my feet. Oh, I was gonna show you. So let's do one more time with the clippers because this nail is a little on the small side and I don't think she's gonna want me to do it. So I can literally just slide right up in here and just clip it off 
with the clippers. The key is you wanna make sure you're not getting this other piece messed up because you're gonna use it on her other nails. I'm not because I'm done, but you wanna show everybody. Say, um, hold your hands out straight. Say, look at my pretty nails. Look at my pretty nails. <laughs> um, so one of my favorite things about the Color Street is that we get to have this fun mommy me time together. We usually do mommy me manis so they match. <gasps> You like matching mommy? Yeah. 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 And uh, Keaton does them too. So good for girls and boys. Um, but they have no dry time. So she's literally on her way off to go play with her toys. She doesn't have to sit here and hold her hands out and wait uh, for them to dry and they're not going to get smudged. They're not going to get messed. She can actually go pet the cat right now and nothing's going to happen to her nails. Um, so it's really great. They last up to two weeks. You can't say that about any other nail polish on kids. And uh, you're obviously not going to do like an SNS or gel because that would really damage their nails, especially at such a young age. Um, but I like to use my leftover color street on my children. Um, I just let them pick from what I have left over. You can also, we do have, you know, a lot of shades that are very kid friendly um, that they would love. We've got some really pretty ombres. Um, but uh, glitters and um, the designs are probably the best for the kids um, because they do have an extra layer in them. They last a little bit longer. Um, but if you guys um, enjoyed this, enjoyed um, watching the kids manicure or have any questions drop them in the comments for me uh, and if you enjoyed if you don't mind clicking uh, like and subscribe uh, to my page uh, follow me for more helpful tips on how to use your color street y'all have a wonderful day